Greetings, unnamed fan base. I am a guy with an internet connection. And what you're actually watching right now is just a string of ones and zeros typed at random by a team of monkeys at YouTube. The fact that this is viewable as a YouTube video at all is a complete accident, and I take no responsibility for it whatsoever because I don't actually exist. But unfortunately for you terrestrial beings, what does exist is TikTok. <laughs> you like that transition? I call that one a segue because there's probably a better way of making it to this point. So a few months back, I made a video about TikTok memes that were uh, mostly just me chronicling my spiral into insanity, but also showing the app to my friends <laughs> so as to like validate all of the time that I wasted. This is so cringe. <laughs> and then, and, and you'll notice if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I, I tried to become TikTok famous uh, only using a horrifying Memoji avatar. Hit or miss, I guess they never miss. Huh? You got a boyfriend? <laughs> probably doesn't kiss you. Mwah. Wonder why this didn't take off. It seems like TikTok is here to stay, so I went back to the app recently for some laughs. <laughs> some yuck yucks, if you will. Now, I haven't been on TikTok in a minute, but man, these TikTokers, <laughs> they're up to mostly the same stuff. <laughs> Today, I wanna to talk about pranks on TikTok because they're basically unavoidable. Now, when I say prank, I mean a funny little trick that you you play on your friend. A harmless goof where you're like, uh, you got me, friend, and then you share a good laugh. You know what a prank is. But these pranks on TikTok in particular have a, a fatal flaw. TikTok gets a lot of shit for people getting famous off of imitating already well-known songs and comedy bits that like it requires no talent or creativity whatsoever to become popular on the platform. And I disagree. I think there's a lot of nuance on TikTok. I think there's a lot of people doing really interesting stuff. Unless you're talking about pranks on TikTok, in which case, yeah. Pranks on TikTok come in many shapes and sizes from fake uh, to real, uh, to real and fake somehow. And I figured we could start with uh, some of the app's premier pranksters. These two Australian, bros uh, named Jackson O'Doherty and Kristen Hanby. These guys specialize in something between a prank and a challenge, a, a, a challenge, a prowlenge. I would keep going, but let me just show you an example. Hey, Jackson, get rid of it. Get rid of what? The basket. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel out of the loop or like you're missing some context? Great. You're all caught up. There's hundreds, if not thousands, of these challenge videos where like one friend says some random phrase to to the other, like, get rid of it. Hey Jackson, get rid of it. And then their friend is surprised, but knows exactly what they're talking about, as if they had some sort of uh, agreement or game beforehand. You serious? And they're like, oh, oh no, oh man, really? Oh no, I don't wanna do that. And then they begrudgingly do something obnoxious. Don't. Usually a public disturbance. Hey Luke, get rid of it. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Are you serious? Get rid of it. All right, so play by play so far. You're grabbing lunch at Subway with your best bud. The staff there has just finished preparing a very nice submarine sandwich for you to eat, as one often does with food. And just as you finish paying, your friend says, Get rid of it. Do you A, say, no thanks Jackson, I'd prefer to eat my meal in peace. Or B, throw the sandwich in the trash can. Good guess, but unfortunately that's incorrect. The correct answer is C, unwrap the sandwich and begrudgingly throw it on the ground, making a huge mess while the subway employee looks on in horror. <laughs> Why would you do that? He has the nerve to look upset in this situation. <laughs> Oh, this is so frustrating. Feels so bad for the subway employee. Why did you do that? I don't know, ma'am. I don't know. Do service people not have it bad enough? <laughs> like, who is the butt of this joke exactly? He's so upset every time. Yeah, bro. Get rid of it. Are you fucking <laughs> Get rid of it, bro. Get rid of it. Send it gone. <laughs> is he under some sort of spell? Like the the clout chasing version of the Imperius curse? External valiacious. <laughs> Damn it. Hey Jackson. Hi Jackson. I like how he says payback's a bitch because he could be referring to any of the hundreds of times that they've done this. I find this particular instance weird because uh, he already got him with this challenge earlier in this video. What do you mean? Get rid of it. Surprise every single time. His friend is once again saying a random phrase at him while filming him uh, and it doesn't ring any bells. Get rid of it. All right, come on. Oh. <laughs> Sorry bro. <laughs> Sorry bro that I just threw a glass bottle of liquor at the ground and glass flew everywhere, potentially injuring any of us. <laughs> you see, my friend here said to get rid of it, so uh, 
I'm sure you understand. They ask so often if the other person is kidding. Get rid of it, bro. Wow, are you serious? <laughs> but it makes me wonder how often they're asking it when they're not filming. Get rid of it, bro. <sighs> are you serious, bro? How will I tell the time? Yeah, I'm just playing, bro. But next time I won't be. Jackson, you're way too clean, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're too clean. Couldn't the water make him more clean? Go hard <laughs> or go home. <laughs> it's it's kind of funny to me how most people are paying them no mind. <laughs> Until I realize it's, it's probably because they do this a lot. Hanging out with these guys seems exhausting. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself for doing my taxes early this year, bro. <laughs> now I've just got to send him in. Bro, I think you've paid enough taxes, bro. What do you mean, bro? That's that's a felony, bro. Get rid of it, bro. You gotta be fucking kidding me, bro. So these guys are like decently big on TikTok, uh, but they're huge on Instagram. And their Instagram has a lot of flexing. That's a given. It also has videos that aren't on their TikTok, and it makes their TikTok look tame by comparison. There seem to be several videos of them just harassing people in a jock strap. Hey, Jackson, he's talking shit, Who's bro. Who's talking shit? He's talking Yo, shit. You're talking shit. These are clearly their main internet places, but I mentioned them on TikTok because they have a bunch of imitators. Like for example, this couple seems to imitate them a lot. You won't go get your belly button pierced. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. Why does he have to? What sort of agreement do you have? I think that this guy uh, recently proposed to his girlfriend and they did it with a prank, I think. It's a beautiful day and I'm a fan of legal institutions. Hey, baby, I, I'd like for the state to recognize our union. Also, the cops are here. Congrats. That's, that's cool. You went to the ambulance. Yeah, I would. Ah! What do these people have against Subway? One thing I haven't mentioned yet is uh, the hashtags, which are a thing on TikTok so that you can like find content that's relevant to you, I guess. And most of the videos we watch so far are hashtag funny, which is obvious, but a bunch of them also use hashtag friends. Is somebody going on TikTok like, hmm, I wonder if this app has any examples of friendship. I didn't think that I could find a worse example of friendships, um, but I was wrong. There's someone by the name of Michael Fallon TV who, like a lot of TikTok pranksters, fancy themselves as a comedian. So I thought that we might look at one of his comedy sketches to get an idea of his sense of humor. But the first one I found is called, When You Pick Up a Disabled Hitchhiker, which, what a relatable and everyday premise. It's worse than you're imagining. So I'm, I'm not, I can't even show it. With the bar set so low, his, his, Pranks are technically more tasteful. This one's called, that friend who's always on their phone, dot dot, not anymore. See no evil emoji, devil emoji, cry laughing emoji, hashtag viral, hashtag LOL, hashtag haha, hashtag pranks, hashtag for you. Oh, plot twist, your friend isn't on their phone anymore because they're not your friend anymore. Even if this is fake, running out into oncoming traffic, I'm gonna say, is a bad idea. I do like the guy who just like pops into frame. Oh my God. <laughs> your phone is broken now, that's funny. When it's time to go, but your friend wants to tan for 10 more minutes. I don't know, man, maybe just wait 10 minutes. Why is he tanning on like a deck? Hey man, I'm gonna be tanning in the middle of the boardwalk for like 30 minutes, call me if you need me. Sounds good, I'll just be here nursing my two giant jugs of sunscreen. Cool, cool, um, why do you have- No reason. <laughs> I got stressed out watching him run. <laughs> Seems very dangerous. Um, Am I just lame? Oh, okay. This one's called How to Stop Someone from Eating Unhealthy. He has good intentions. Maybe I, I was too quick to judge. Oh! Michael! Oh, Michael! <laughs> Don't be eating sweets, he's gonna get fat. <laughs> A little unorthodox, but I get it. This next one is called How to Stop Someone from over exercising. What do you want from me, Michael Fallon TV? That's some sugar for your workout. I found your gym towel here. It's just a little bit oh. wet. <laughs> you will never be healthy. I know what you're thinking, but 
where are the videos where someone asks him to do something obnoxious in public and he does it without asking any follow-up questions? This video is called Dare or Get Slapped. They're, they're not even trying anymore. I dare to go down that hill on this bike or get slapped. Oh. <laughs> I dare you to steal this random bike and ride it into the river. Or get slapped. Getting slapped isn't that bad. <laughs> Oi, Fallon. Dare you to jump up on that table and act like a monkey. Or get slapped. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just get a stopwatch on like the reaction time from from hearing the dare to just like immediately doing it? Dare you to jump up on that table and act like a monkey or get slapped. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Zero to monkey at 1.28 seconds. <laughs> What does he gain? What does he get? I feel bad for this girl who's just trying to take a call. I just wanted to thank you again for coming in to interview. What did you think of The Office? <laughs> I'm sorry. Is this what you think of us? I'm just saying I'd rather get slapped. It's easy to rag on these bad pranks or, or games or challenges or whatever you want to call it, but it's clear to me that it's very difficult to actually make a good prank. Some would argue that it's nearly impossible. In fact, I would argue that. Just because it has like a bunch of variables. Like it depends on who you're pranking and what their sense of humor is like. You can't go like too far because then it's like harassment and you can't go too easy because uh, then it's it's boring and there are no stakes. Like when I was in college, this is a true story by the way, a couple of my friends on April Fool's Day sent an email as the dean of our college to every student in the college with a, an advertisement for a testing program from Aperture Science from Portal. Do we remember Portal? Am I old? <laughs> I'll show you the email, I still have it. So it's this fake advertisement on April Fools. Everyone thought it was super funny, completely harmless. They didn't do any hacking or anything like that. They were just like claiming to be from the Dean so it looked like it was from the Dean. Despite the fact that it was harmless and on April Fools, they got suspended. So uh, pranks are dangerous, man. But there's hella people ready to take that risk. And you know why? Because they might get five TikTok followers and and that's gonna be worth nothing in a few years, so uh, joke's on you. These last pranks I'll show you oscillate between way too intense and, and comically underwhelming. That default iMovie title effect is, ooh, chef's kiss. There's a really popular prank on TikTok based around the fact that if you chew on raw pasta, it makes a really loud cracking sound. So the prank is just to, to chew on it and, and make people think that bones are cracking. So that's fine. This guy's going into a grocery store and cracking his bones, I guess to gauge people's reactions. It seems pretty harmless, uh, but also why? Oh, you think he has back problems? <laughs> you got pranked. What's that? You turned around because you thought you heard a sound? <laughs> Pranked. He plays music to accentuate the reaction shots, uh, but I don't know if it's copyrighted, so uh, I'll just give you my closest approximation. <laughs> What's that, little boy? Can't buy school supplies because you're too distracted by my cracking back? Ha! <laughs> Fooled! Here's another one where I can't use the sound. Huh? You got a boyfriend, I mean he doesn't kiss ya. You're gonna have to trust me on this one, but you have not lived until you've had your eardrums ruptured by hit or miss playing over the Walmart intercom. <laughs> Did you see the employee going to get her manager? <laughs> it's almost like she was doing her job. Hi. Hey, how you doing, man? Good, good. What do you yeah. have? Uh, can I yeah. see that speaker right quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. Gone, now you with the bo 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 bo. How yeah, much is it? 25? 25? Blah, blah. Booking hole again, shit. Booking hole again, shit. Theft. What a gag. You should have seen the fear in his eyes because he thought he was going to lose his job. Oh, sicko mode. <laughs> More like pranko mode, am I right? Oh, God. It's just so dumb. Uh oh, we've got another one. You guys are ready. Oh, <laughs> are you guys ready? We've got to be quiet so that he can't hear us through the video. Yo, yeah, give me a fucking push. Oh give me a fucking oh push right now, you fuck. Okay, okay. Uh, gonna have to give this a 100 out of 10 on the intensity scale, my guy. Why did people even do crimes before TikTok? I mean, what's the point? Robbing a bank, lol. Hashtag feature me. Hashtag haha. Hashtag friends. Walking past someone who's clearly my friend. Haha, -ha, took the phone out of their pocket. Oh, hey, buddy, you dropped something. Thank you. What was the point of that? Why is the phone destroyed? You know, I, 
I've messed these things up before. Let me know in the comments if there's something here that I'm missing. <laughs> hey, Gino, come crack my neck. Uh-oh, it's pasta time. Ready? Uh-huh. Oh, ah. God! Ah, the old accidentally murdering your sibling prank. <laughs> Good one. Okay, so my roommate is in the other room right now, and I have this bottle of oil, and I'm gonna try to prank him with it. I think he is Elmer Fudd. I like how he hits the camera with his bottle of vegetable oil. To try to prank him with it. To transition scenes. That's how you know this guy's a pro. That and his washboard abs and his avatar. Hey, bro, come here real quick. Alright, hold on. No, bro, hurry up. I just got my first dub on Fortnite. You gotta come quick. Uh, dude, season eight is trash. dude, for real. Fortnite, I'm the best. I'm the goat. I already watched all of this. <laughs> What a great gift to someone who's who's celebrating your your non-existent Fortnite win. Also, fuck this guy for laughing before he saw if his friend was okay. Dude, you need a hand? Oh man, I'm done. Oh, oh. Hey guys, get this. I, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna spill wine on my friend's clothes. <laughs> that way. I don't know about you, but that's about all the TikTok pranks I can take. Did you have fun? Did you learn something? I sure didn't. I did learn that it's crazy what people will do for a hit of that sweet, sweet dopamine. But who am I to talk? I make YouTube videos in, in, in the simulation, of course, because they don't actually exist. I can't help but feel old watching this. Like I turned 27 in a couple of months and I just don't find pranks funny anymore. Is that normal? Am I normal? <laughs> Didn't expect this to turn into therapy, but let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video or value our hashtag friendship, go ahead and hit that like button or I'll slap you. And that's a threat. Thanks to Fahim Ahmed for sending me a message on Twitter. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. If you want me to butcher your name, you know, do the stuff. You can you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter at Jarvis or, or subscribe or hit the bell. You know, things. Let me know what you thought of this video. I, I tend to over-research um, my videos and I think it has diminishing returns. So I'm working on taking a break from every video needing to have like a moral or some like big point. Okay, that's the end of my ramble. Bye. See ya.